What's up guys? So today I am showing you exactly what I did to make a zero clearance insert for my Delta Cruiser miter saw. I hope it's helpful to you and if nothing else, just wait till the end for the bloopers. And I gotta say, my friend Ray hates voiceovers on YouTube videos, but sorry Ray, I had to do it. today putting in a zero clearance insert for the miter saw this came standard and it has a relatively big gap and so sometimes you get uh, pieces that are that sink down in here and I don't want that to happen anymore so I'm gonna make a zero clearance so I picked out some oak that I had laying around and I'm actually going to just try the tape and CA glue trick on this because instead of tracing it and trying to freehand cut it, I can just use a flush trim bit and make it easier on myself. So that's what I'm going to do. covered. I'm going to do tape here. Same spot. I did trace around it with a pencil initially. That tells me where to put my tape. That's fine. All right. Test fit because you don't want to screw up your wood. You're on the right track. I'm gonna try to line mine up with the very edge of the board just to totally cut down on how much I have to freehand cut. All right, I'm gonna put the glue on the bottom piece because it, that's what I wanna make sure doesn't get on the wood. Now I'm saying, boop. Accelerator, flippity doodah, flippity day. Ooh, that's potent. All right, feel it with your fingers. Make sure you're flush on the edge of the wood. Looking good. Ooh, yeah. Named. Absolutely. All right. All right, so I'm going to try to use the bandsaw to uh, take the bulk of this material off before it's ready for the flush trim bit on the router. And it does help if you would like to operate your machinery to plug it in. So that's the thing. Here we go. Okay. So we're gonna try to get as close to this as possible. 
without cutting it. Too close. Yes. Yes, I should have had safety glasses on. Shoot. But just do that next time. Don't do it. Don't do what I did. Okay, so got the bulk of the work done just on the bandsaw. Pretty nice. Um, was able to get nice and close using the fence. Maybe kiss the plastic a tiny bit, but it doesn't matter because we're making a zero clearance insert to replace that. really think about the thickness of this until right now. So I'm probably gonna have to uh, shoot that through the bandsaw that way to thin it down. Here's what actually happened. So I had planned to use my flush trim bit. I forgot my flush trim bit, which is a no name brand from online forgot that it's not great. It's only a half inch. Um, it couldn't even do this thickness. So I just decided because I got so close with the bandsaw, I just sanded it. Looks really good. Now I need to resaw this because it's way too thick. So we got the uh, measurement straight from the saw because this was flush with the top of the saw. That's the beauty of a combination square. So just mark it a couple times. Connect the dots here. tools here. What size do we need? Maybe this one? I don't know. Find out. Feels, feels right. Yep. Maybe. All right. So I've never used the fence in, in any other orientation yet, but I need to for this particular Resaw. So, give it a shot, Ski. Loosen those pieces up, slide it off. That doesn't feel right. It's because it's not. It's that way. Go. Two 
two hex bolts, tighten it down. I'll check it for square and we'll go from there. Um, find a square, find a square. Some kind of square. Let's just see if it's, we can square this up to the blade. See if it's close. It's on a weird, is it on an angle? No, it's just this. Okay, you know what? That's close enough for me. So, okay, raise that up a little bit more. Okay, got safety glasses this time, so that's good. See what happens. This is not a resaw blade, this is a stock blade from Rikon. <laughs> So that went fantastically. Resawed it down to close to the thickness that we needed it on the bandsaw. Um, turning the fence worked great. <sighs> to clean it up, because I didn't get as close to the line as I needed to on the bandsaw, I ran it through the planer a couple times. I mean, come on. So last step, gonna put the original, uh, whatever this is called, back on top of the new zero clearance insert. And we're gonna mark out where our screws go. Sweet. So screws that are gonna go through this need to be countersunk and this will be a good time to test out my new uh, no more countersink bit and tools today. down because I have limited camera angles at work so um, I am going to countersink this um, it took me just one hole to kind of figure out the depth that I need to fully get the head of the bolt below the surface so that that doesn't mess with putting wood on the saw so here goes Okay, so that is actually really nice from Tools Today, no more countersink bit. Um, I'm pretty sure half of my face is cut off right now, but this is just an amateur YouTube video, so that's fine. Okay. 
camera. Excuse me, camera. See how that stops spinning? That means you've reached your depth. Chill. All right, so I just used the tools today. No more countersink bit. The actual bit is barely even out because we're working with quarter inch stock here. So the main thing we're needing is the actual countersink part. Now we have all of our holes drilled and we're about to install it. Right there. Dun, dun, dun. All right, here's the real truth. This is legit the hardest part of the entire project. If you have star head screws like I do, don't try to use a whatever I have, multi-tool, star, star key. It's a terrible idea. Treat yourself. I didn't realize until I was legit doing this voiceover right now that I could have been using my T25. No, not like Sean T workout video. The star bit heads, you know, that come with your Power Pro screws. I should have been using those with my drill this entire time. I look, I actually suffered through this part. It's painful to watch. I think, I think this voiceover even needs to end and I will fast forward. later because it's horrible. Oh gosh, this fits. Yeah, that's nice and square. Not. So not square. This is the worst video ever recorded. 